How are you doing? That's an important question to ask, especially in times when we're not sure about what's going to be happening around the corner. It's important to push the pause button and to take a spiritual and emotional break to think about, how am I doing? How am I doing? We are completing five weeks of sheltering in place with really no concrete plans of when this is going to end. So again, I ask, how are you doing? Our inability to do whatever we want, to go wherever we want, to be with whoever we want to be, that can sure be limiting. In fact, it can cramp our style. This 12th chapter of 2 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul wrote about a real pain that was cramping his style. He referred to his pain as a thorn in the flesh. Before I became a pastor and a hospital chaplain, I, I worked as a junior high woodshop teacher, and so I, I had a real experience with thorns in the flesh that were real pains. Now, I'm not talking about my students. I'm talking about splinters that I would occasionally get into my hands. They would always provide a constant reminder of the presence of that pain. It's just, ouch. We don't know what Paul's thorn was. Whatever his thorn was, it tormented him, and it was a, a real pain. So Paul thrice prayed that God would remove his thorn. Now what that means is that Paul prayed and he prayed and he prayed that God would remove the real pain that he contended with. And God answered his prayer, only not the way that Paul had desired and originally hoped for. You see, after Paul prayed and prayed and prayed, God answered him, my grace is sufficient for you and my power is made perfect in weakness. For you and me, as we endured the real pain of sheltering in place, I know that if we, we count the odds, there's really no doubt that we're going to persevere and survive this temporary time of trouble. The question is not will we survive, the question is will we thrive? In order to thrive, we must do more than just shelter in place. We need to practice sheltering in God's grace. And as it was for Paul, God's grace is sufficient for you and for me. We can find His strength in the midst of our weakness as we shelter in grace.